Hello again and welcome to another episode of The Really Show, where we report on the funny, weird, and interesting things we find online. I'm your host, Aaron Ross. Today's show, Presidential Firsts. If you like the show, we would love it if you would subscribe. George Washington, first president, first president on a postage stamp, only president not to live in Washington, D.C. John Adams, first president to live in the White House. Thomas Jefferson, first president inaugurated in Washington, D.C. First president to add territory to the U.S. through treaty, Louisiana Purchase. James Madison, first president to wear long trousers and not knee breeches every day. James Monroe, first president whose daughter was married in the White House. First president to ride a steamboat. John Quincy Adams, first president whose father was also president. Old Hickory Andrew Jackson, first president to ride on a train, first presidential assassination attempt. Martin Van Buren, first president born a U.S. citizen. All the rest were British subjects. Only president who spoke English as a second language. His first was Dutch. William Henry Harrison, first president to die in office. He only held office for 31 days. John Tyler, first president to be married while in office. First president whose wife died while in office. James K. Polk, first president elected before reaching the age of 50. First president whose inauguration was covered by Telegraph. First president not to seek re-election. Zachary Taylor, first president who had served in no prior elected office. Millard Fillmore, first president to have a bathtub with running water. And he was also the first president to have a stove in the White House. Whoop, whoop. Not to be outdone, Franklin Pierce, first president to have central heating installed in the White House. James Buchanan, first and to date only president to be a bachelor. Oh, honest Abe. Abraham Lincoln, first president to be assassinated. Andrew Johnson, first president to be impeached. He remained president by only one vote in the Senate. Ulysses S. Grant, first president to meet the Queen of England. Rutherford B. Hayes, first to have a telephone in the White House. First to visit the West Coast, California. Hmm. James A. Garfield, first left-handed president. He also taught himself how to be ambidextrous and it would amaze his friends by writing Latin with one hand and Greek with the other. What? Chester Arthur, first president to have the White House renovated. Good old Grover Cleveland, come on. Grover Cleveland, first and only president to serve non-consecutive terms. Benjamin Harrison, first to have a Christmas tree in the White House and subsequently first to have electricity in the White House. And following Benjamin Harrison, Grover Cleveland again. William McKinley, first inauguration recorded by a movie camera. Theodore Roosevelt, first president to ride in a car while in office. First to be in an airplane, first to be in a submarine. First president to win the Nobel Peace Prize. For what? William Howard Taft. First president to have an official White House automobile. First president to throw the first pitch to start the baseball season. What I'm talking about. Woodrow Wilson. First to cross the Atlantic Ocean while in office. First president to be buried in Washington, D.C. Warren G. Harding. First president to have election results broadcast over the radio. First president to speak on the radio. First to visit Alaska and Canada. Hmm. Weird. It's just right there. Canada. Nobody? Really? Can they just let's take a say hello? Our neighbors up north? We don't I don't know. Calvin Coolidge. First president sworn in by his father. Herbert Hoover. First president to have the telephone in his office. Everybody didn't want to be bothered before then. Franklin D. Roosevelt. First to appear on television. First president to appoint a woman. <laughs> woman. First to appoint a woman to a cabinet position, first to have a presidential plane, and first and only president to be elected to four terms. 
Give him hell, Harry. Harry S. Truman, first president to have the inauguration broadcast on television and first to have a television in the White House. Dwight David Eisenhower, first and only president to serve in both World Wars I and II, first president to have a pilot's license, first and only president to receive an Emmy Award in recognition of his use of television. Getting down to the nitty gritty. John F. Kennedy, first president born in the 20th century, first Catholic president, first president to have been a Boy Scout, first to hold a live televised press conference. Lyndon Baines Johnson, first and only vice president to be witness to a presidential assassination, first and only to be sworn in by a woman, first and only to be sworn in on an airplane. First to appoint an African-American, Thurgood Marshall, to the United States Supreme Court. First president to ride in an armored vehicle to his inauguration, Richard M. Nixon. First and only president to resign while in office. First president to visit all 50 states. What? They weren't even, that's crazy. First president to visit communist China while in office and first to attend the launching of a manned space flight, Apollo 12. Gerald Ford. Oh! <laughs> Gerald Ford, first president to have worked as a model, first president to give a pardon to a former president, first president to visit Japan while in office, first and only president to have been recruited by two professional football teams, Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. That's blowing my mind, dude. It's getting good. Jimmy Carter, first president born in a hospital. Ronald Reagan, first and only president to have formerly been a movie star. First to appoint a woman to the Supreme Court, Sandra Day O'Connor. And oldest person to have served as president. He was 77 when he left office. George Herbert Walker Bush. First president to have been former director of the CIA. Bill Clinton, first to have his inauguration broadcast live on the internet. First and to date only to have been a Rhodes Scholar. First president to appoint the first lady as the head of a presidential commission. GW, George W. Bush, first and only president whose election was determined by a US Supreme Court decision. First and only president to have been part owner of a professional baseball team, Texas Rangers. First and only president to have an MBA. And finally, Barack Obama. First African American elected president. Let us know, boom, which of these are your favorite firsts? Any interesting ones stand out to you? What do you think about the possibility of the first female president? Hillary Clinton, Carly Fiorino? Hillary Clinton, if she were elected to be the first female president, would that make Bill the first man? Feel free to let us know in the comments area below. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks again for watching. I'm your host, Aaron Ross. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>